I've been feeling hella bad and I'm sad, right? Hello, guys. Welcome to Kaiser Chiefs News. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Without wasting your time, let me get straight into today's topic. Former Kaiser Chiefs star Junior Kanye has identified some talents this could help his former club improve. Kevin Johnson has insisted that Kaiser Chiefs don't need to recruit. However, many feel the caretaker coach is bluffing. Kaiser Chiefs are rumored to be in the market for several players. Kanye believes that Stellenbosch skipper and defensive stalwart Diano Van Royen should be made a priority signing. He feels that the fullback could rival Kuliso Mudao for Bafana Bafana honors. Defensively, I think Kaiser Chiefs should sign Stellenbosch captain Diano Van Ruyen. He is the only other right back who can compete with Kuliso Mudao at Bafana Bafana, Kanye said on iDiska TV. Kanye believes that Van Ruyen was unlucky to miss out on the AFCON squad. I don't understand why he is not in the squad instead of Nico Mabi. Chiefs need a player like Van Royen, Kanye added. He is very quick, very good at recovering when not in possession, and he has proven himself as a trophy winner. Kanye added another four names into the mix that he feels could add quality to the Glamour Boys squad. He picked out Cape Town City striker Kanyisa Mayo, left back Kobalwake Sibandi of Stellies, and City Hardmen Bryce Ambina and Kian Cupido. Kanyisa Mayo would be another good fit for Chiefs. His father played for the club. He is very good technically. He still needs to improve, but he has proven himself to be a good goal scoring forward. Other players for me would be Kobolwake Sibande, a left back at Stellenbosch, Bryce Ambina, defensive midfielder at Cape Town City, and Keanu Cupido, the center back at Cape Town City. In additional news. In attempts to secure Nigerian goalkeeper Stanley Nwabali, Kaiser Chiefs may have to part ways with two current goalkeepers, according to sources close to the situation. Currently representing Nigeria in the Africa Cup of Nations, Nwabali has caught the attention of the Glamour Boys, who are keen on bolstering their squad at the end of the season. Indications are that Chippa United's Stanley Nwabali is a top priority for Chiefs, with previous links between the club and the Super Eagles stopper. With the January transfer window closed, Kaiser Chiefs is setting its sights on the upcoming season for potential acquisitions. A source revealed, the club is looking at releasing two goalkeepers to open up space for Nwabali. He is at the forefront of players to be signed, and indications are that two goalkeepers will be let go, ensuring at least four goalkeepers in the first team and one from their DDC side. A second source familiar with the matter suggested that the likely candidates for release could be experienced Itumaleng Kuhn and young Bontela Carabo Molefe. The source explained, For Kuhn, it's about his contract expiring in June, and Seku Kuhn United has expressed interest. Regarding Molefe, he desires more playing time away from Chiefs, making both viable options to create room for Nwabili. While the deal seems imminent, the complexity arises from European clubs, particularly in Belgium, expressing interest in Nwabili. The source added, The deal is very close to happening, but European clubs may pose a challenge. With his standout performance at AFCON, the situation for Chiefs could be challenging. However, the final resolution awaits the conclusion of the season. Kaiser Chiefs fans will be eagerly awaiting developments as the club navigates potential goalkeeper changes in pursuit of strengthening their squad with the promising Nigerian talent. In the upcoming months, Chiefs will be parting ways with more than six players, but some of these players might get a chance to renew their contract Etumalang Kune, Brandon Peterson, Sfiso Hlati, and Siyetemba Sitebi are the ones who are in great danger of leaving the club. Their chances to stay are very low. The names of Ed Millison Dove and Njabolo and Kobo are also in this list, but these players might get a chance to extend the contract with Kaiser Chiefs, so as a Kaiser Chiefs fan. Do you think releasing some of this players is a great idea? Let me know what you think in the comments section below.
That's it for today, guys. Let's meet again on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe as it motivates us to keep you updated with the latest Kaiser Chiefs news.